Hi, this is Renee Polish, author of Nephilim Genesis of Evil, the Reed Ferguson mystery series, and some other great books. Um, Want to do a post here, thought it'd be fun to do a video, uh, the 10 best books for writers. Let me qualify that by saying these are my 10 best. Uh, a lot of them are older books because I did most of my reading on writing a long time ago, but I still think there's a lot of great information to glean from these books, so let's get started. Techniques of the Selling Writer. I thought this was a great book. It's got, it was a wealth of information. Uh, Swain writes on uh, feelings and building conflict, uh, working your beginning, middle and end, and a lot more. Um, and it, it only got one one-star review on Amazon, so that's got to mean it's good, right? Uh, anyway, I think it's, it's definitely a, a book worth checking out. How to Write Killer Fiction. Now, Anybody who's writing mysteries, I think this is a must read for you, but this is also a great book for fiction writers in general. Carolyn Wheat does a great job discussing story arcs, scene and structure, endings, and a whole lot more just about writing techniques in general. Um, now I do agree with some of the people on Amazon that said that the sections on the thrillers uh, wasn't a lot of valuable information there, but if you're a mystery writer, I would strongly encourage you to take a look at this book. Uh, on writing, Stephen King. Um, I, I think this is just an absolute must read for any writer. Um, it's a great journey in into Stephen King's mind and how he works and not only that, uh, I really think that that many indie, uh, indie authors uh, you, you think that you your first book or your second book is just something great. I, I know I did. I was like I'm gonna be the next King or John Grisham or whoever. Um, but truthfully you probably haven't honed your craft enough really to publish and and uh, I think Stephen King does a great job here of getting getting you into how long it took him to actually get to the point where he had something publishable. Um, how hard he worked at his craft um, before that first book ever came out. Um, I also like his little section on editing, but I, I think it was just a, a great read. Bird by Bird, uh, Anne Lamott. Um, this this is a little bit uh, spiritual, um, but I also think it's it's got uh, a lot of sound advice on writing, and and it's definitely worth reading. Setting: How to create and sustain a sharp sense of time and place in your fiction. Um, I think the subtitle says it all. Um, you want to create compelling settings, but this book also goes into plot, how setting affects your characters viewpoint and mood and atmosphere and just a, a wealth of information to look at. The Writer's Journey, Christopher Vogler. Um, some people take some issue with this book that this is the reason why we have boring movies and everything's all the same. Um, maybe so, but I think that there is a, a lot of information about character arc that's valuable, uh, the story, the, the story journey, and uh, so much more. So I think it's worth uh, taking a look at. Writing the Modern Mystery. Uh, again, I'm a mystery writer for the most part, but uh, this is a quality book. Um, it's got great information about creating memorable characters and plots that are going to stand out for the rest of the stuff out there, so it's worth uh, taking a look at. Spider Spin Me a Web, Handbook for Fiction Writers. Uh, this is by Lawrence Block. The guy's been around for ages. He knows what he's talking about. Um, as I recall, the book is little snippets of uh, articles that, that were first uh, printed in a magazine. Um, so like I said, some people don't like the conversational tone. That didn't bother me and I thought he had a lot to say. There is going to be some, uh, unless they've updated the edition, that's going to feel a little bit outdated about publishing, um, but I still think it's a, it's a good read. Uh, I happen to love this book, The 38 Most Common Fiction Writing Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. Um, it's, it's a quick book, quick little chapters, uh, quick advice, but I thought it was it had great information. Again, you're going to find people on Amazon that didn't like it, but I thought uh, you, you were able to just get quick pieces of advice, they made sense, um, and, then, and then you can move on. Um, I also think that this one you can download for free, so uh, how can you beat that? And finally, this is not uh, so much a uh, book on writing, but on um, persevering. Chicken Soup for the Writer's Soul. Um, 
I just I thought this was a great book especially early on back when it was much harder to actually get your book out there for the viewing public uh, great stories by uh, writers and a lot of inspiration and I just it, it's a good read especially if you're discouraged um, you're thinking you might want to give up uh, good little book read little snippets and it'll keep you going thanks